Hello guys, this is Tini Vas, the developer from the developer channel. Today we are going to solve the Skidmark Daily Challenge for 3rd August 2021. Here this is the problem they have given, alphabet bit masking. The program must accept a string character uh, which contains only lowercase values and we just need to generate an integer value x which is nothing but a binary representation of the given value according to the 26 character. Like we have 26 character in alphabets, right? We put all those characters as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and we just need to modify all those values which are available uh, by the value 1. So here A, B, C, D is available. It's starting from Z and ending with A. So we just put 1 for A and 1 for B, 1 for C and 1 for D and 0 for everything else. So if we calculate this uh, uh, binary value or if we convert this binary value into decimal value we will get 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus uh, 8 will give you 15 that's what we are getting here. So I was like okay I can handle this with python so what is gonna wrong with this I am going to first in put a, a string value with 26 zeros and I am going to replace all those. Uh, zeros with according to the character by one so simple right okay let's have this program in the python programming language so we can make some online what what you are asking me to solve this for a uh, five this line code into single word in c programming language okay let me remove that i was like Mommy, I can't do that like that guy. Then only suddenly my shitty guy in my brain, sorry, bitty guy, who knows binary operation, wakes up, hey bro, what's wrong with this? I was like, bro, how can I able to solve this, this bunch code in sync? Hey bro, this is just a piece of shit. Quack. So don't let me do that. I was like, okay, how are we are going to solve this? Using the bitwise operators like right shift left shift and r xor those things will help you buddy let me explain okay you can handle this you just need to replace all those character according to the value right so we just need to put like here we have values like a b c d no d c b a and we just need to put one if the a is available uh one if b is available which is nothing but we can simply do with the right shift operator right so one one zero one zero zero like that like this is the right shift of one with zero right shift of one with one right shift of one with two so we just need to find the index like we just need to put zero for a and one for b two for c then it will be work fine so don't worry bro we can solve this okay uh if i want to solve this i just need to modify the x with the type shifted values right x x are of one right shift of str of index minus a so we are like subtracting a with a will give you 0 a with b will give you 1 so we can get the index simply simply like so this will solve your problem but if you are using xr here it will toggle the bit right so if the bit is 0, it will put 1. If the bit is 1, it will put 0. Here they are containing some duplicate also. Here skidmark contains 2k. So first k will be placed 1. And the second k will be replaced that 1 by 0. So we will get a wrong input, right? So if I use under operator, so this guy will put 0 for everything. So we won't get anything, we will get the result 0. 
how i am going to solve this am i going to solve this or 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 yeah that guy will work fine so if i add uh 0 or 1 this guy will give me 1 if i add 1 or 1 this guy will give me 1 he is always positive bro he is always give a good Thing. So instead of exaring, we can replace this exa with R. So we will get the proper output. Like this will do the exact thing that we really want. Here they are automatically printing this x value into integer value. So this will convert the binary representation into the integer form. So we don't have to worry about that. Let me run this gcc main.c executing the app. And I'm passing the values like A, B, C, D, E here. So we will get 15 plus 16 will give you 21. Sorry, 31. Yeah, we got that. We got that. That's it, guys. That's it for today's video. Hope you like and enjoy this video. Uh, see you soon with something else tomorrow. Until then, bye. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna say some story. Uh, one day there is a stranger walking through a road and he found a guy who is throwing stones into his garden He didn't uh, found anything like he was like passed the way and he went to the place where he want to go while returning also he is saying the same guys doing the same thing on the same place like throwing stones into his garden so this time he can't be able to control himself he was curious to know what he is doing. We all do, right? So he just went to the uh, went to that guy and approached that guy, and he asked, like, "What are you doing? Why you are throwing uh, throwing stones into your garden?" He replied, "No, I'm not throwing stones into my garden. I was trying to drive off the donkeys." So the stranger was like. But there is no donkeys here, man. Don't you get that? Yeah, I have already draw them away. Now, here can I wait? Wait, what?